Good news for all the illegal immigrants that want to come to New York City to get all the delicious amenities. It's 33 degrees outside Fahrenheit. That is one degree above freezing. So, if you think you're going to get a hotel, there's no more room in the hotels. And if you think you're going to get room in the in the shelters, in the, what's it called, in the tents, uh, well, it's freezing in tents. I don't know if you want to sleep in the tents. Also, not a lot of room in the tents anymore. They're all full. And uh, there's a lot of stabbings in the tents, so maybe just not a good idea. Though The ambulances might have heat, so if you get stabbed, and you want an ambulance to the hospital, hospitals also have heat, pretty good, but you're not going to get a room or a bed because they're full also because New York City is full of violent crime. But, uh, you know, it's 33 degrees outside and you can bring your little children over to New York City, maybe five years old, so they can roam the streets of New York in nothing but like little pajamas. Maybe they'll even have a, maybe they'll get a blanket, a thin little tiny blanket as they get violently kidnapped on the streets of New York. Of course, no one will ever talk about that because Let's face it, no one actually cares about your kid. Uh, so come to New York City and literally freeze your ass off. I mean, people currently aren't going outside because it's so cold. But, I mean, you know, who cares? And, of course, you're going to starve to death also because there's not enough to eat. But, I mean, again, no one cares about you. The Biden administration is refusing to give any money to New York City to try to deal with this massive issue. So you're not going to get anything. And... Again, there, there are no jobs. Oops. Yeah, there wasn't that many jobs in the first place, and now there's too many people searching for jobs, because if you think about it, it's supposed to be you have one or two parents come over the border and five kids. So you only need one or two jobs for every seven people that come across the border. But now it's just a bunch of young 20-year-old males who all want jobs, so now it's seven jobs for every seven people, and we don't have that amount of jobs because hundreds of thousands are coming to New York City, and it's only gonna get worse and worse. Jobs aren't created when more migrants come, right? The job market stays exactly the same. The only really thing that really changes is tech jobs. Migrants just come across the border are not getting tech jobs, so you're gonna be broke. So where are you going to sleep? On the streets, with the rats and the homeless. We do have a lot of homeless, you see. They're used to it because they've been sleeping in the streets of New York in the freezing cold for many years. The thing is that when you come from all these South American countries that are really nice, really nice climates, you're not, oh, you're not gonna like it here. So anyways, please come to New York City. No, really. So you can freeze to death. I guess euthanasia is really a thing these days, you know, if you don't want to get an abortion on yourself when you're 40, come to New York City and you'll die on the streets, and the rats will eat you, and we also have a cat problem because of the rats, we've got cats, and so now cats will eat you, and the possums will eat you, everything, mice will go and take a little nibble, and this is what New York City really is all about, it is the American dream, come to the Big Apple and get eaten by worms, and also, you'll get frozen to death, so they'll have to smash your body in order to get all the good stuff. Anyways, subscribe and see the next video.